Could the new construction that's currently going on in Adventureland be something to do with Moana possibly returning to the Magic Kingdom? Well, we'll analyse why up next. Up next. Hi there, Waltoneers. I'm Jack. This is DSMY Newscast. And yes, of course, go ahead and subscribe down below, hit that notification icon, and also, whilst you're at it, go ahead and check out Universal Newscast. And now, with all of that out of the way, let's get right on with the news. So, ever since that the Moana meet and greet was removed from Disney's Hollywood Studios in April of this year, Walt Disney World guests have been asking when and where will Moana return. Now, it's not all bad news, as since then, we have seen that Moana has got her very meet and greet. However, it's only been available during the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party events, with the cast members willing to disclose that she will return to a more permanent location soon. But you see, this is where the whole Moana within the Magic Kingdom story gets a little interesting, as construction walls have now been put up around the Adventureland veranda, which we all know has been an extremely popular meet and greet location for many different characters over the years. And there's also been a permit filed for the construction that indicates that the work will be completed by late March 2018 at the very latest. So what does all of this mean? Well, we've heard rumours in the past that Disney definitely want to bring a greater Moana presence on over to Adventureland, and that the rumours have stated that a Moana meet and greet has been in the works for quite a while now for the Magic Kingdom. But also, not to mention that Disneyland Resort also have their very own meet and greet location for Moana over in Adventureland so it seems likely that Moana will be coming to the Adventureland veranda. However, do bear in mind that this hasn't been confirmed by Disney as of yet, but we should hopefully be hearing something from them fairly soon. But it does seem likely that we're going to be getting some sort of Polynesian re-theming of the Adventureland veranda for the meet and greet location, as this would be the only logical conclusion for why such extensive work is being carried out on this area. As with the permit and also the construction walls, it seems like this is going to to be a little bit more than a minor refurbishment to that area. So maybe, just maybe, we're looking at the new home of Moana within the Magic Kingdom. But I guess only time will tell what Disney's plans are for the Adventureland veranda. Now for once, let's move on over to Disney Springs, as the demolition of the Disney Quest building has now begun, completely tearing down the entire building to make way for the brand new NBA experience that is set to debut in summer of 2019. Now now this concept art, which was released late last week, has been met with a fairly mixed reaction from the Disney community, as many are stating that this proposed new building does not fit with the overall 1920s Spanish Revival architecture which Disney Springs is meant to elicit. And personally, I can see why Disney fans are upset about the stark contrast between the NBA experience and Disney Springs, as it's been stated on Disney Parks blog that this building is meant to represent the architecture and the technology of modern-day NBA arenas. However, looking at all of this from Disney's standpoint, this may be a great step forward, as not only it brings in the possibility of maybe an ESPN connection within Disney Springs, and it may give us all a hint at the future companies which may be coming to the west side of Disney Springs. Now, it wouldn't be a DSMY newscast leading up to the massive release of The Last Jedi without a tiny bit of Star Wars news, as it has now been reported that the early tech for Star Wars The Last Jedi project that the movie will open with a whopping $215 million opening weekend box office, which, if it proves to be true, would make it the second largest in US history, right behind Star Wars The Force Awakens. And lastly, for today, I just want to very quickly come back around to a story which I addressed last week, and that is the Run Disney events in Disneyland. As you've probably heard by now that Disneyland's Run Disney events have now been indefinitely postponed until further notice. Now it's beginning to emerge that possibly the reasoning why Disney decided to cancel these events may be more to do with Anaheim City Council's treatment and attitude towards Disneyland Resort. 
as there has been an ongoing back and forth debate on the Eastern Gateway project that Disney really need to have in place for the upcoming lands of Galaxy's Edge and the superhero universe over at Disney California Venture. So it seems that Disney may have resorted to playing hardball with the city council, as the run Disney events are estimated to generate tens of millions of dollars for the city of Anaheim. Therefore, we can only conclude that we may only see the run Disney events return once Disney sees significant progress of the Eastern Gateway project for Disneyland. But now, it's over to you Walton Ears, as I would like to know if you think that there are any other Disney characters which are majorly underrepresented within Disney parks. And if so, how would you integrate them within a Disney park, be it an attraction, show or experience? And of course, don't forget to leave the timestamp of the Hidden Mickey, which is somewhere within this video, to be in with a chance to win a DSNY Newscast pin. And congratulations to Parker for winning with this suggestion from the previous video discussing the rumoured opening date for Toy Story Land. And go ahead and subscribe down below if you're new to this channel, hit that notification icon, and also if you can give this video a massive thumbs up, it would really help us out. And I've been Jack, you've been you, and I'll see you real soon. <laughs>